Class work 20. So let's solve these equations, radical equations. And so. Oops, I connect and I need to connect my iPad. Okay. So first, solving any equations, we combine the like terms first. All right, so first step, we simplify the equation. So for this one, we can move this negative two to the other side, right? Move to the other side, become plus. So this equals the four. Now we square both sides. And we square this one, we square four, square square root cancel each other. So we get three x plus one equals a four square, which is 16. Now we move one to the other side becomes negative. So we have three x equals to 16 minus one, 15. We divide by three on both sides, 15 divided by three, that's five. Now let's see B. B, the index is a three. So we want to raise both sides by three. Right, three over three is one. So we get to the radicand out. So that's three x plus five equals to 10 minus two x. Now we want to combine like terms. So we're going to move negative two x to the other side becomes plus, we move positive five to the other side, becomes a minus. So three x plus two x, five x. 10 minus five, five. Divided by five on both sides, five divided by five, we get one. So solution for B is one. Now let's see two and three. Two complex numbers, right? So we have a square root of negative one times the square root of 81. Well, square root of 81 is nine. Square root of negative one is i. So square root of negative 81 is nine i. An imaginary number. Similarly, so we have this one we can write as square root of negative one times square root of 60. Square root of negative one is i. Well, square root of 60 is a four times 15, right? Square root of four is two. So we can write i up front, two radical 15. Or you see some books write as two radical 15, then i. So i can be in before the number or after the number. So with complex numbers, we can add, we can subtract. We add or subtract like terms, right? Real number with real number. So one minus three, so let's write this first. One minus three plus i minus five i. Well, one minus three is a negative two. i minus five i is plus negative four i. Plus negative, or just minus. So negative two minus four i. So subtract real with real, imaginary with imaginary. We can multiply complex numbers, right? So we FOIL, because complex numbers is a two-dimensional number. So it's, you can think as a binomial, a binomial times a binomial, so we FOIL. We do first times first, second times second, second times first, first times second. 
So the top ones give us real numbers. Seven times negative three, that's negative 21. Negative two i times four i, let's put on the side. Negative two i times four i. Negative two times four, negative eight. I times I, I squared. Well, I squared is negative one. So negative eight times negative one become positive eight. So this is positive eight. So you, see, you see the top is a real number, right? So I have negative 21 plus eight from the top. Well, the bottom, negative two I times negative three, positive six I. Seven times four I, 28 I. Okay, so let's write it here. So I have plus six I plus 28 I. Negative 21 plus eight, negative 13. Six I plus 28 I, 34 I. So a complex number multiplied by a complex number is still a complex number. Let's see, B and C. Let's see, B. B, we multiply negative 7i with 2, multiply negative 7i with negative 4i, distribute. Right? So negative 7i times 2, that's negative 14i. Now negative 7i times negative 4i is positive 28 i squared, because we have i times i, i squared. Well, i squared is negative one. Negative one times 28, that's a negative 28. Right, then we have this negative 14i, negative 14i. So for a complex number, we write the real number first, then imaginary number second. Now let's see D. D, we know square root of negative 3 is just square root of 3i times square root of negative 36 is, well, square root of 36 is 6, so 6i. Six, 6 times radical 3 is 6 radical 3. i times i, i squared. Well, i squared is negative 1. So negative one times six radical three, that just equals to negative six radical three. We can divide complex numbers. So when we divide, you see the denominator, we have a real part, we have an imaginary part. And then we want to multiply by its conjugate. Conjugate is a two plus three i. Why we want to do that? Because we will get a real number out of this. Right, we do two times two, we get four. Negative three i times three i, get negative three i times three i. Then we get a negative six i. Two times three i, positive six i. You see that those two terms canceled, right? One is negative, one is positive. This two becomes zero. Now, negative three i times three i, that's negative nine i squared. Well, again, i squared is negative one. Negative one times negative nine, that's positive nine. So we get a four plus nine. Four plus nine, that's just 13. So the numerator, of course, we want to multiply by the same thing. Because for expression, we can only multiply by one. One acts like a transformer. In this case, it's a two plus three i divides itself. So if you remember sum of two squares for complex number, right? So we just get the first one square, which is two square plus three square. Two squares is four, three squares is nine. 4 plus 9, 13, right? The numerator will have 5i times 2, that's 10i. 
5i times 3i, that's a negative 15. Because it's a 15, i squared, i squared is a negative 1. So we want to write this as negative 15 over 13, right? Then plus, we have this 10i, 10 divided by 13i. So the real part is negative 15 divided by 13. The complex part is 10 divided by 13. So when we divide two complex numbers, we still get a complex number. But now let's see B. B, we want to multiply by the conjugate of 3 minus i, which is 3 plus i, divides itself. Well, let's put parentheses around because we have two terms. Think as a binomial, OK? Right, so the denominator right away, we get the first one squared with the three square. What about the second one? What's in front of i? One, right? So plus one squared. The numerator, we have two times three, which is six. Of seven i times i, which is seven i squared, which is a negative seven. Then plus seven i times three, 21 i. Two times i, two i. Simplify this, so I have 6 minus 7, which is negative 1. Negative 1 over 10. Okay, 3 squared is 9. 9 plus 1 squared is 1. 9 plus 1, which is 10. Plus 21i plus 2i, 23i. 23 divided by 10i. So the real part is negative 1 over 10. The imaginary part is 23 over 10. So it's still a complex number. I think that's it. So only four, four questions. Let's check. Yeah, only four questions on class work 20.